Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold is in the middle of a secular bull run. That means gold is in a long-term uptrend. We have projected gold trading at 7 excuse me, 2450 for the year. Gold's trading about 1755, 1756 right today uh, in New York. And the reason for that forecast for this year is that the Federal Reserve has locked in what we call the fear trade. The fear trade is when you look at the purchasing power of the dollar, one becomes horrified. It will take you $150 in 2032 to acquire the same goods that $100 requires today. That means the purchasing power of the dollar is expected to decline by 50%. This is due to the worldwide opening of the spigot. A dollar that was worth 100 cents in 1970, and we'll be commenting in detail, there's some interesting new studies about this, um, we'll be commenting in detail about this in the next couple of days. A dollar that was worth 100 cents in 1970 is now worth 18 cents. So if you're thinking you're going to be alive for a while, you might want to consider having something that is a true store of value. That's why people are buying gold. That's why they're going to continue to buy gold, since there is no likelihood, based on the present evidence, that any government is going to undertake the things that are necessary to make this change. Now, I'm not saying what might happen in the United States over the next year or two uh, with the change in uh, government possible. But I am saying, looking out at Europe and the Chinese need to balance off consumer standards with uh, preventing a revolution, uh, I just have a hard time seeing how any governments are going to stop printing money and engage in uh, conservation-based practices. That means that the fear trade in gold will continue indefinitely. That means the price of gold is going to go up. A key part of the fear trade is buying in China. We told you yesterday that China overcame India. Now, we think this is a temporary situation, but the reality is what's driving gold purchases in China is people that don't have quite enough money to evade currency controls, uh, but want to have a store of value as their government, like ours, uh, can uh, be somewhat misleading, shall we say, on the subject of inflation. Now, as we look at the love trade, uh, we also see uh, that in India and other parts of the developing world, and in India, of course, is not really part of the developing world, uh, it was a misstatement on my part, uh, the, 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 a, you can't get married, you can't get anybody to marry you unless you deliver a lot of gold. So that's what we call the love trade. Now, that's not perhaps the kindest way to describe the role of gold. But the fact of the matter is that the role of gold uh, is a key element in making matches in significant parts of the world. This being so, this is another source of net demand for gold. Now, we're going to turn to the other side of the equation, and we're going to talk some more about this. So we're in the secular bull trend in gold caused by two principal things, the fear trade, the love trade. But also, gold supply is diminishing. There are no new gold mines coming online of any consequence before 2016. And it's getting the, the quality of the ore obtained is degrading. That means it's not as efficient as it was. And it's getting harder to get out of the ground. So people have to go deeper. They have to take more risk. The mining companies lose more miners, the miners go on strike, the government gets ticked off, I think you get the drill. So, <clears throat> we have his two major sources of buying, coupled with the third source of buying, central banks. And we have a situation where the supply is diminishing and demand is increasing. Therefore, the price of gold will continue to rise. Reminding you of our 2450 uh, projection for this year, we told you to accumulate 20%. We're 
We're now suggesting that you add another 15% to your positions. Uh, we see very clearly that if we can close today above 1760, that will be a sign that the next stop is 1800. Uh, also, be on the lookout. We haven't been able to get Molly Corp to respond to any of our questions because we've got a new Molly Corp report coming out, uh, and hopefully they'll respond before we print it. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a super day.